Hey, what's going on? I'm Josh Bogrowski. I'm here to talk about automated drivers, how they can save lives, and the difficulty behind saving those lives. So right now in the United States, there's about 30,000 people a year that die from auto-related fatalities. A massive number, especially when you contrast it with something like the number of deaths from gun-related homicide, which is around 9,000, or the number of homicides in the United States total, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 13,000 people a year. That being said, if you could save half the lives with the automated vehicles, you could prevent more deaths than preventing every single murder in the United States. That's a huge number, but it's not as easy as it sounds because you have to figure out how you're going to do it. Well, first you could probably save 50% of the lives at least, maybe 60, 70, 80, even 90% because you're going to eliminate the things that cause people to die in vehicles the most frequently. So you're going to talk about drunk driving, texting while driving, being upset, road rage, not paying attention, and the list kind of goes on and on of human related factors that if you were able to 100% concentrate on the road at all times in a perfect mental condition, you could save probably half the lives right there. Now, the automated drivers can obviously do that. But here's where the difficulty comes in. Whether they can save 50%, 90%, or 95%, it's gonna be almost impossible for the automated vehicles to save 100% of the lives on the road because there are variables that happen that you simply can't prevent every accident and you can't predict everything that's going to happen. But what makes this really difficult is how do we choose what variables we want to pick. So for example, if I'm driving a vehicle and if I continue to go straight, I'm going to hit a drunk driver who just ran a red light and kill him and five people in his vehicle. But if I turn slightly left or right, I would kill one person who's completely innocent and hasn't done anything wrong is just obeying the laws of traffic, but I'd veer out of my way and kill that person. Do I choose to save the lives of the five with the driver who's obviously not an innocent party, or do I take the life of the one person on the other side? These are really difficult questions to ask and questions that I'd love to hear your thoughts on as far as how you think we should implement automated drivers. And the next question I have is who should be making these decisions? Is it the programmers of the vehicle? Is it the individual companies? So maybe if I bought a Tesla, okay, I select one set of rules where if I bought a Ford, I'd select a different. Is it government regulation? Should the government be choosing? And then you get into a little bit more complicated issues like how do I pick and choose it preserving my own life or my, you know the driver's life it versus preserving the lives of someone else. So if you have a situation where you could save two lives of another driver, but the automated vehicle would actually be likely to kill the driver of that vehicle, how do you pick and choose what you do there? And do you feel totally comfortable with a vehicle that may potentially kill you in order to save a few lives? Maybe the answer is you get to pick and choose a little bit, like being an organ donor. So you could choose to save multiple lives while sacrificing your own if the situation arises. So I'd love to hear your comments on what you think the best way to implement these things are, who should be doing the regulation, who should be making these decisions, and then who's at fault when there is an accident. So assuming that I'm in a vehicle and let's say that myself and I have a passenger with me, how do I pick and choose who lives and who dies in a vehicle where you might have a situation where you're going to hit a telephone pole and you can only save the person on the left or the person on the right. How does the vehicle choose that? Should you be able to choose that? If I'm a father and I have my pregnant wife next to me and she's gonna be in the passenger seat, should I have the option to say that like in any situation, I always wanna save my wife or I always wanna save my child who's in the back seat? Um, love to hear your thoughts, questions, comments, and uh, that's it.